Greetings, everyone. We have about a week and a half, two weeks until E3 starts because people always release shit early for E3. So, uh, yeah, this Time is going to be the free E3. E3 impressions video. Shouldn't we just call it the Xbox One impressions video? <laughs> well, basically, at this point, uh, we have no idea what Sony's going to show off. Um, we have an idea of what we have an idea of what Nintendo's going to show off, but we know none of the specifics. So yeah, all we really have left to speculate on is Microsoft. And no, we will be, well, at this point, most people just figure PS4 is just going to be a better looking PS3 with the touchpad stuff on its controller. Which is all they need to make to dominate the next generation. Yeah, just, yeah basically Sony's goal for the C3 is don't fuck it up. Don't That'd be an asshole and you'll win. <laughs> so awful. wait, does Sony... I guess we should just start with Sony then, but it, w w is Sony considering... They're this gener the seventh generation, an overall failure. What for? We mean the PS3. Yeah, the PS3. Well, I know I know it started PS3 relatively outsold, rough. Yes, PS3's outsold uh, Xbox 360 by this point. Worldwide, yes. Yeah, Worldwide. but is it, it? Do they view it as too little, too late, or? No, I think they that just don't want to get too far behind. I think. Because uh, huh. like uh, uh, last gen. I guess we I guess we can call it, uh, we, it's weird calling it last gen though. Um <laughs> Nintendo uh, in terms of sales Nintendo won. But people don't really like to consider Nintendo cuz they like they're, they're just sort of doing their own thing. But between Xbox and PlayStation, I think it was kind of close or at least relatively. I like both consoles. Like the 360 has its uh, advantages over the PS3 and the PS3 I has its advantages over the 360. Love, I love how for like the first 3 quarters of this generation, everything about the Xbox 360 from its earliest fuck release to the limitations of its disc format was holding back like 75% of what was made for the PS3. <laughs> 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 like, everyone wants to develop for the 360, so they're multi-platforming, and they can't take advantage of Blu-ray if they're also making for, making the same games for a DVD drive. Look so... at Metal Gear Solid 4 and Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> Metal Gear Final Solid. Fantasy XIII was on Xbox 2. Yeah, it, was it had multiple discs. discs. Big. It was six discs. Six discs. Wait, really? Yeah. It was yeah. six discs? I thought it was three. But, you know, even that kind of held the game back in a way because they make the game in a way that it w wouldn't require you to change. Like, um, it, it, you know, part of the reason, not all of the reason, but part of the reason 13 was so linear is because you had to go from disc to disc as you went through the game. And, you know, why did it, they uh, even bother making it for the 360 when all of the JRPG fans have a PlayStation anyway? You can count the number of plays. You can count the number of Xbox RPG on one hand. Because American fanboys, they want that demographic. They're, and you know what? I I've said this. I said this in the Sonic Rush commentary. That's probably going to be released like a month after this video. A month. Uh, a month. Paper <laughs> Mario is not going to be done till mid-August. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but you know, gaming corporations are run by corporate executives. Corporate executives have no sense of what makes a good game. They only know what makes a good trailer. What makes a good draw for the mainstream audience. So they're going to push things into mediums that they don't necessarily need to be in to succeed simply because they think it markets better. It's strictly monetary reasons why they make yes. 360 as well. Yes, and you know what? When they when they do that, when they do that, sometimes they just wind up holding a game back in a lot of ways. Uh, Thirteen, Final Fantasy Thirteen was one of those games, I think. Um, uh, not Hold that on, I, I don't think even Thirteen know that really was ever... necessarily going to be awesome if it was PlayStation Three exclusive, but I think it suffered a, a fair bit more for being multi-platform. Well, did did did. did really work for them though because hold on i'm looking at the 360 sales okay okay it, no, it's almost yeah, two million did. copies yeah, i don't even think i don't even think 13 um soul was released on the 360 in japan just no in, it was it just only has it has 0 0.01 sales 
and just <laughs> what <laughs> on the everybody that everybody that bought Final Fantasy 13 in Japan bought it for the PS3. Not yeah, the Japan. Okay, here's no one because no one yeah, plays the a 360 in Japan. Is, 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 yeah, everyone's Sony okay. and Nintendo in Japan. Okay, and okay, here's okay. Overall sales, Final Fantasy 13 sold less than two million copies on Xbox 360. Note that most of those sales are in North America and Europe. And, um, and it sold almost 5 million on the PS3. So really, I don't think that they got... Uh, well, okay, I don't want to say... That point, at that point, you're better just company. making... A, you're better, at that point, you're better off just making a better PlayStation 3 game that sells more copies on the PlayStation 3 and not wasting money trying to port it and distribute it for yeah, a whole... Yeah, but there, there's, the, there's the thing, though. There's a th you were getting at this earlier. Big companies don't see 5 million copies sold in the PS3. They see 7 million copies total. They see... So, no, 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 no. Even from a corporate perspective, it's not the same because it, porting, uh, making a game multi-platform increases the budget. So you would need to sell more copies to break even or make a profit in the first place. If you stick to a single console, you're spending less, at least in the, at least in that, uh, at least in that way. But you're selling less copies uh, in total. It's not just copies sold; it's copies sold in proportion to money spent. That's why Tomb Raider was a quote unquote financial failure because they spent so fucking much on the game that they that's had to just, sell a lot more than they did. That's depressing. It is depressing. Three and a half million copies is a fail. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, uh, square, square. <laughs> Learn to budget your shit. Well, they're going through. They're going under the, some some uh, major uh, shifts now, aren't they? Like the, 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 the North C America, the North American CEOs. But I also heard the president resigned too. Okay, uh, I, uh, I think the gaming industry in Japan isn't doing so well right now. Um, so thing, Japanese game companies are sort of in a in a spot, generally speaking. Okay, well, shifting this somewhat on topic, what do you, what Square Enix game do you think they're going to show off for PlayStation? Final Fantasy 15. Uh, Probably I, not versus. <laughs> or that, since, since that game is the new Duke Nukem Forever. It is. Just accept you know it. What? They, they should, they should, they, they should finish it. They should fucking finish it and make it their, their like, their um, their big PlayStation 4 title while they're busy making the next. Uh, numbered title Final Fantasy because that game looks fucking awesome. Do they have con footage con of it? Consider they have, oh, they all have, I have this. All I have to say is they have some pretty no. substantial gameplay footage. Yeah, actually, not like uh, playthrough footage, but you know, uh, there, there's enough gameplay in trailers and preview footage that that you get a pretty decent idea of what the game was going to play like. <sighs> all I know, all I have to say is that considering Square's pretty much going to be looking for easy money. How much do you want to bet Final Fantasy VII remake? It's going. No, to, uh, they're no, no, they're not. I, I, not yet, not just yet. I don't think I, I can understand what you're getting at there. Depends on how I guess. Depends. Depends on, you know, I guess, I think depends on how be. desperate they are for money. It's not going to be a launch title because here's why: they fucked that up. Okay, they're losing a lot of fans, and so if they do do that, they're going to do it right, or at least try to do it right. Launch title is not the place to do. that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Launch titles have a tendency to come out too fast to really be polished. Yeah. Um, I do believe it, it, it is a Final Fantasy. Okay, title. hold on, guys. Can you can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can you guys I hear do... me? Okay, my headphones shorted out for a second. Yeah, you're it, fine. It, it's okay. going, it's it's going, going to be a Final, be a Final Fantasy, Fantasy something because Final Fantasy is their is their title. Be, well, uh, not a e when they want to sell. Well, I wouldn't say necessarily. Well, at E3, we're more likely to see a Final Fantasy. But if they want to sell copies back at back home in Japan, they're going to make a Dragon Quest because that just sells better over there. Like they, they're they're nuts over that shit for some reason. Yeah, but hasn't that series been relegated to handhelds like nobody? No, been... Dragon Quest Ten came out on uh, on consoles. The thing is that it was an MMO, so all the Japanese fans got pissed because they changed things. So oh, they made an eleven that was just like an eleven. If they made an uh, 11 that was just a normal RPG, it would sell. Yeah, like, it, it hasn't even sold a million copies back you there. You know what? Yet. I don't get Square's logic. Making a numbered sequel that's not a single-player RPG. You know what? Just just make a side series called Final Fantasy Online, Dragon Quest Online. You, you won't piss anybody off that way. Well, uh, it's just like, yeah, they, like it sells, um, like, yeah, the DS game, uh, 
the last like normal Dragon Quest, Dragon and, Quest, but, sold it, but, you, but you understand though why they named it that like, white, right? The name sells. The name sells, and no, well, not really, because the moment you look at the information for the game, see it's an online game. You're not even selling to the same demographic anymore. All you're you doing have to, you have is saying all people who that... otherwise have bought the game. Lewis, you have to understand that Dragon Quest back there is just about as popular as Mario. Like, to the point where I normal know, people that, that aren't in as gamers but buy that, it. That just means you're going to piss off more people by doing that. No, oh, but the thing is, is that, that they can take change Take the numeral off the title, slap the word online there, okay? And then the, the Dragon Quest fans who are interested in playing a Dragon Quest MMO will buy it. Those that aren't will not disavow your uh, disavow themselves of the franchise because ruined forever. Um, that's, that's all I'm saying. You know, you, you you'll still sell with the title and you'll still get your MMO, but you're not pissing anybody off by calling it Sonic 4 and not having the physics in there. Is the best analogy I can come up with right now off the top of my head. Um it's just the name is going to piss people off rather than making people happy. Why are we dwelling so much on this? Well, I'm I'm where you this. are. Yeah. I'm <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, be three hours I, of I, Expo, I, not three I, hours. I, of... no, we're holding off on Expo. <laughs> I, I think Microsoft will be the last we were talking yeah. about. But yeah. look, yeah. idealistically, Probably. for this year, I'd like to see a Final Fantasy that I can actually give a shit about. And two... Kingdom Hearts 3? <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen, but I want it to happen. Uh, well, it, like every it, other Kingdom Hearts game, I couldn't give a shit. However, first trailer, Deadpool on Death Star level. Instant buy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome, actually. I, um, I think I know from a business practice what they're doing with the Kingdom Hearts series, especially with the... Um, the, the 1.5 HD remix that's out, they're going to wait until they do it for Kingdom Hearts 2, and then they're going to announce 3. That's what I think they're going to do, but, you know, I, I at least want to know... introduce new fans to the series? Or... Well, yeah, I mean... Well, I mean, it's not just it's not just getting new generations to play the game, but you're also getting the final mix versions of it, the versions we should have gotten the first fucking place so many years ago, but... I, well, they want to get. They want to get. They want to cat. They want to get fans familiar with the franchise yet again because the plot is such an utter travesty that they want to make sure everyone's up to speed before they go and announce three, which well, is a the, shame. But well, I see what they're doing. Tutorial at the start of the next game, and we need that understanding to even make sense of it. Well, Kingdom Hearts. I think people are familiar with Kingdom Hearts at the very least. Like all, all, all they all they know is most all then, most people know is Final Fantasy meets Disney. <laughs> Well, hold on. I'm trying to. I'm looking. One, with the two, game three, four, five. There's so seven gonna... main. Int there's seven main uh, games in the series, right? Yeah. Oh, it's it's the plot that the work that, that that John is talking about. The plot is a mess. Fucking mess. <laughs> it, it gets worse with. It gets more convoluted with every new entry, and you know they keep putting these between games in too. So it's like when you start Kingdom Hearts three, half the people aren't going to know how the hell did we get here from the end of two. Organization was, 13 has 14 members. It was already bad enough with, and I, I still, it, it's the point I always bring up, when uh, I first got Kingdom Hearts 2, when it was, I got it the night it came out. Two hour intro. No, not just that. Um, I got, I, I brought it the night it came out, and I was still in college at that point, so I brought it back to the dorm, and my friend Russ and Jacob were uh, watching alongside me because they watched me play Kingdom Hearts 1. The first few fucking minutes, they're already asking a bajillion questions. It's like, well, it's because you got to play Chain of Memories to understand what's going on here and here and there, and that is a big fucking problem. Well, it it's is. just... Uh, if there's one thing I can praise Final Fantasy about, it's that you don't need to play every single game in the franchise as in order to understand the next one. Like, you don't like 8? Fine, you can skip 8 and play 9. Nine's its own thing. Yeah, they're all standalone titles, except yeah. for the sequels. And I mean, uh... Except for the Tactics games, 10, 10, 2, 13, 13, 2, Lightning Returns, it's well, the GameStop. Part, I think that's part of why people are so pissed with Final Fantasy right now, is because they've been dwelling on 13 for, like, 5 years now. No, you see, what, what they're doing isn't dwelling on the, the games themselves. They're dwelling on the fact that they can recycle shit and put out new games for a lesser budget. 
they that that that, 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 that the, the whole reason we got a sequel to Ten Two is because they knew people would buy it, and they knew they could recycle like ninety percent of the graphics assets from the first game to make a new game. And well, Rom hacker game. Ten Two is still pretty fun. It, it's it's still pretty fun, yeah. But you can see, you, like, you, you, you when you compare when you look at the two games, which game do you think took a bigger budget? Ten One took a humongous budget to make. It was a uh, Ten Two was probably something they threw together in like no time at all. It took them a year to make, I believe. The, the, the only Majora's stuff, Mask. It's Majora's only, Mask. They had to make some graphics assets for uh, new characters and uh, the areas that were new. But the game engine was mostly based off the, the the last one. The the and the majority of the areas are just they already existed. It's it's an easy it's an easy shortcut to making a game. It's the it's sort of the same with thirteen two, although not as much because mo- almost the entire game is new areas, new graphics. Well, they, at least they don't need to make a new engine because that's a. Didn't need to make a new engine. Yeah, it was it was a tweaked engine. Uh, you know, and that I can appreciate more than Ten Two in a sense because there's more effort involved. Um, but it's still not as it's still not as budget consuming or time consuming as making a new game from scratch, which is what they need to do every time they make a goddamn uh, new uh, leap forward to another Roman numeral and another world. They have to come up with a completely new mythos, and it's just you know. And that they're, they're 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 dithering on things that they can rehash and recycle because the, stretching that out takes more and more money every time because they need to push the tech more. You know, mm. I just realized something. Other than a Square Enix game, what are we expecting for the PlayStation Four? Here's, here's new Naughty Dog, new Naughty Dog game, new Insomniac game, Last here's Guardian, what... Team Ico. <laughs> Here's what I'm thinking is going to happen, and I hope Sony does this, because yes, we had the conference a few months ago where Sony just showed off the DualShock 4. Uh, he didn't show and, the a, and a bunch of games. Yeah. And a bunch of games. You can show that, well, trailers for games, anyway. Yeah, well, Killzone. And, well, except Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, was Watch Dogs is a current-gen game. So uh, I don't, it, 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 still, it still looks awesome. Never mind. Well, uh, uh, anyway. I don't count it because it's on last gen tech. Uh, it can sure. be played on again. Last. That's that's fair, but still looks awesome. We we um I've, everybody I've, and their everybody and their. Oh, what were you saying, Ted? Uh, I was just saying, yeah, Watch Dogs does look awesome, but I think that's more just an awesome game than an awesome yeah. PS4 game. Again, that's that's. Yeah, fair. I'm I'm splitting hairs though. Okay. We everybody and their grandma this past week has been getting on Microsoft shit for very good reason, mind you. I'm one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> We technically don't know what Sony plans on doing with the PS4 as of now. For all we know, they could be doing the exact same shit. What I hope they do is it's... look at the feedback. No, they've already, they've already, I think they already said that they're not going to do a used sales thing. You know I what? There was, this, there was this. There was this uh, advert for the PS4 that I heard about this morning, where it says, "We will use your TV for gaming," and yeah. it's just an epic burn at Microsoft's yeah, television. I have, I have, <laughs> it was, uh, it was, I really hope, though, because I, I again, I, all Sony needs to do is not fuck up. Fuck up. Yeah, and you know what? They know what they know what fucking up is because Microsoft went ahead and defined it for them. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> as long as they this follow that Sony's, blueprint of what not to do, this is dominate. Sony's perfect opportunity to counterattack with 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 the PS4. Yeah, just don't no. fuck up. <laughs> just make it the complete opposite of the Xbox One, and you have the generation right there. Mm-hmm. As much as I um, now, granted, I, I'm still open. I'm still rooting for Nintendo, obviously. But you know, when it comes to just pure graphical power, the Wii U is just not going to beat it. That's no, it's that's, it's it just can't. That's just it's, fact. But you know, in terms of like, in terms of battling between Sony and Microsoft, if Sony plays their cards right for this E3 and really wows us, they're the winners right then and there. And that's what I'm hoping they do because. We're, we're I've, enjoy, I'm in, I've we're enjoyed all my Sony systems. We're gonna get to it. We're gonna get to Microsoft later, but ugh, that conference, man. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I, again, I'm kind of also pulling for Sony just because I have enjoyed all the systems of theirs so far. I've been following. I, I, I had a load of fun with PS1, PS2, and PS3. 
Yeah, it's a. You know, it's I'm a, gonna get a PS4. It just kind of depends on pricing it's and a, launch. It's a bias, yes, but yeah. you know I've been following Sony since mid '90s, and besides, the, you know, the mishaps in the beginning of the PS3's life cycle, they haven't let me down yet. Yeah, I mean Naughty Dog and Insomniac have never let me down yet. Uh, you know, so, you, you know yeah. it, it's basically Sony's event to lose. At this point. <laughs> You know what? The, the, the thing the thing is, even when the Xbox 360 drew ahead last gen, this gen, whatever, at the very beginning, even that was Microsoft being a dick because they shoved out a console as fast as they could without making sure it was reliable hardware that wouldn't break down on itself. Didn't 360 and, come out before the Wii did? Yes. 360 came yeah. out in 2005. They didn't take the time to make the hardware... Functional. So, <laughs> functional. Yeah, that, that was the, the whole ring of deaths thing they got it out early and they succeeded this is what pissed me off they made the right move from a business perspective because they pulled ahead on the game library really early on and that's why the 360 is dominated but the fucking tech it's just like why worst hardware console ever it, it, uh, 360 <laughs> it's, yeah from technical aspects is the worst of the generation but well, we, I, I would well, still we. no, just in terms of how it functions. No, just to, no, you no. Because I haven't. I look. Here's let's put. Wii's it never broken down. I, my, my no, Wii mine was, has. My, my fucking ruined my Animal Crossing town. I had to shut that thing down for like three weeks. No, no, compared, to, uh, compared to every other living being in the United States of America, my 360 went before my Wii went. Two yeah. times actually. My, my brothers. 360 went, and my 360 went. It's, it's, it's not saying that the Wii and the PS3 never fail, because when you talk about the Red Ring of Death, uh, you know, a 360 fan will counter by pointing at that one equivalent light on the, the yellow, PS3. The yellow light of death. Yeah, the, lo the yellow light of death, but how often does that compare to the Red Ring in the in the models where that was a problem? It, well, the it, thing about the Red Ring was that it was I like still, a, I still have my original launch PS3, and it works just fine. No, the, the Red Ring was like a time bomb in all of those launch PS3s, where it would keep on going for a pretty uh, long time, and then, like, sometime three years later, bam, Red Ring. And it would just, it would happen, and you don't know what it was. It, 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 it was, it was, a, it was, an, it was a near inevitability, not complete inevitability, but near inevitability. And it was, it was something. I'm, um, I'm convinced. It was something that Microsoft willingly put out there. They, they said, okay, this is bad. We're going to keep it. We're going to make that sacrifice. We're going to bullshit out a policy where you can get it replaced for free because we really want that game library. Yeah. I think it, it got bad to the point where, and I'm going just off the top of my head, though. It was so it was wrong. at least half. It was yeah, about fifty five percent failure rate. At that point, that's, at that that's point, a, that, that, that's, that would that's be a, unacceptable that's a, that's a, that's in any other industry. At that's a that catastrophic point, level of failure. At that point, you're blatantly saying "fuck the consumers," and that's what they're doing again with the X Bone. <laughs> X Bone, fuck the consumers. No, the X Bone <laughs> is a completely different. It's a different but, problem, but they're saying the, the same, same thing in a different language, is what I'm saying. All right, so I, we went over Sony more or less. Any Nintendo? other, any particular? Well, just last, any particular games in particular you would want from Sony developers, or? Um, I'm looking for. Are they going to um give us more information on the new Infamous game at all? Probably. Probably. Uh, I'm looking forward to that definitely. Nothing uh, immediately comes to the top of my head. I'm just pretty much going to wait until the conference happens and T. Michael, where's Last Guardian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo. Smash, Nintendo. Smash, 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 Nintendo has Nintendo needs to play their cards right, but if they do, they have a decent chance of at least coming. Well, actually, they have a very good chance of coming in second. The thing they, is, is they have games that uh, look good, and they have games in development. Just in terms of sales, those sales are going to skyrocket once the new Mario and the Smash Brothers game comes out. If that's just like a that's a guarantee. What I was they talking have, about. They have console sellers. They need to get the library around those console sellers up to snuff. What I was talking about with Sony earlier about having the prime opportunity to strike, it also applies for Nintendo, um, because um, I, I mentioned the um, re report on the face on my Facebook wall about how the Wii U the Wii U started no, suddenly skyrocketed in sales in the UK, 
uh, in light of the Xbox One announcement. And it, it, let's say if that holds true to like North American sales, I'm not sure if, what the results are for that yet, but it, Nintendo needs to see that and they need to capitalize on that. Yeah, this Nintendo, is what? it. This we is it's already Nintendo. out. We already know there's no bullshit, so it's a safe option, and people are going to it. It's for the same reason. It's the same reason that that people are just flocking to the PS4 without knowing that it's not bullshit yet, but kind of. Assuming giving it's Sony not. a good faith vote that they're not going to be idiots. Um, Basically, Nintendo. <laughs> well, we already know that Nint- uh, Nintendo is going to release games that will sell no matter the quality. I think what they really need is a game that will get gamers excited. Smash that isn't Mario. Uh, well, I, isn't... I, I've never been more apathetic to a Mario being announced they, ever. They, <laughs> like they, they, ha- they need to establish themselves so that third-party developers will actually go to their system rather than the PS3 mm-hmm. and the 360. Well, they, they, Nintendo's at least, at the very least, if I can give them some credit, is that they've been better about trying to reach out to them about shit like this, because they teamed up with Atlas for that Shin Megami Tensei Fire Emblem. Sonic's game, exclusive I, to them for a little while. Yeah, the Sonic uh, Bayonetta. They, you know, they're reaching out and partnering with uh, people. So at the very least, it's just sort of, I, I like that direction because Nintendo can... Just sort of Nintendo has an infinite pile of money from the last gen, so they can just sort of throw money at projects and let these other developers make the games that they want to make. Yeah, you know? right now, right now they're trying to make up with the gaming community for shafting them so bad with the Wii for so long. It's actually kind of sad. Well, they, I wouldn't. Okay, like, I wouldn't you know, classify the Wii as a shaft, really. No, it's, no, it, it was it, the, it's... Wii, the Wii focused far. far Far too much on on uh, on pandering to uh, the casual market. The, well, that cas- was, the that hyper was casual market. Say that was more at the, uh, more like, the beginning, I think. Though I think it it's was more the like beginning, like... but once they established that track record, it was hard to shake it off. Well, and there more... was the fact that the, that the Wii's gimmicks didn't exactly Function. add much to the to anything other than that. I can yeah. When you think about, I can only think of a handful of games where the motion control really. Sold yeah, uh, they, like they, they, wound, Center. they wound up That's having to. They have. They wound up having to make a peripheral to improve it eventually. But the problem <laughs> with that is, no one's going. Developers aren't going to, to focus too much on the peripheral. And then eventually, they started building the peripheral into their controllers. But even then, it was still a peripheral that people had to buy a new controller for. Well, at least at this point, you know, you can you, you use your Wii Motes for a few for Wii, Wii U games. At this point, the only Wii U controllers, the only Wii Motes you can buy at this point are Motion Plus. Yeah, so at, the, at least that'll different. be implemented in all games that they need to use it for from now on. At or the end. you'll just do what everyone else does just by a Instead of buying Wii Remote, just buy Pro Controllers. It's just like well, if it, they it, decide to make a motion control based game, which I wouldn't be able to do if it's interesting and cool. Fair. And like they 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 jumped on they jumped on a quick gravy train, and then they realized eventually that they couldn't sustain that indefinitely. So they they had to reestablish their uh, their their the, their other market that they just sort of threw away and in the rush for more yeah, cash and it's it, gravy. It, this gravy chain's only going to Pittsburgh. We gotta go to Seattle. Yeah, more or less. <laughs> well, to, be, to be fair, they uh, when it comes to trying to reconnect with the core gamers, they've been doing uh, they've slow, been doing but well. they've been better. Like the Nintendo Direct thing, I think. It's I like, actually think not having an E3 conference is sort of genius in its own sort of way. It's like I, I'm not saying that Nintendo is dead or dying or even close to it. I'm just saying they have a lot to fix, and it, it's going to lead to them lagging. They ha- they have a lot to fix, and this right here, this E3 is the opportunity to show that we can do this, and it's not just like. Like, we, they, we, they can they right. can they can really help themselves or they can really shoot themselves in the foot. I'm sorry. I just I just imagine Mario doing an Obama campaign ad. Yes, we can. <laughs> but, uh, Luigi's the vice president. Eh, we might be able to. Uh, 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 completely good right now. <laughs> anyway, what I was getting at was the the first game that we Brian mentioned. Well, we're about to smash, 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 yes, smash, smash, smash. We all smash, want Smash, smash Brothers. I That's want going to close out the, their first uh, their Nintendo Direct. I Wait, call it right the, now. Here's the thing: Nintendo's in a state where it needs more than just Smash Brothers. Yes, yes. Smash it'll, it'll give them that pick me up that they Smash need. This but... will be the pick me up. It'll be a hell of a pick me up, but yeah. it'll just be a pick me up. They have they have that Sega partnership with 
they have the partnership with Sega right now that promises them three exclusive Sonic games, and Sonic games sell the best on Nintendo consoles. They have Bayonetta 2. They and you know, obviously they had they're announcing the new 3D Mario game, which is gonna so sell. So apathetic. There's as, at least as, it... as apathetic as we are, it's gonna sell, which it's Nintendo a... only cares about at this point. And at, we uh, need to stop there's relying Shin Megami on Shin Tensei and Fire Emblem, which probably won't sell, but at least it's something unique from them. And the rumors, I, and again, they're only rumors, but I only hope they're true. <laughs> that what, um, Prime 4? Retro's new game. Metro's new game is another Metroid game. And I don't want it to be Metroid, though. They're also I, de- they're, de- they're also developing a Metroid game for the 3DS. I don't... I, I, I wouldn't mind a 3DS. I don't want... Here's the thing. Star Fox. I like Retro as a developer. F-Zero. They've made, everything they've made has been a good game. Where the are problem is, you? Is they, the problem with Retro is that they've only ever made one type of game and Donkey yeah, Kong. You brought, you Metroid brought, Prime. <laughs> brought this argument before, Ted, and I understand what you're getting at. You're, you're definitely of the type that would rather see something new and exciting than something N- Nintendo, safe. Nintendo needs... Uh, Nintendo having their safe handful of, of surefire titles is good, but they need more built around that. I know, they, but at the, at the same time, though, right now, they need to be safe. They need to be safe. Yeah, you know, they, they're, they're going to make their system sellers, and that's what's going to sell the system. That, in turn, they need to... They need to to springboard off that is all I'm saying. They need yeah. to. But the problem, the problem is, is that we have guaranteed. Gamers. The thing is that we have three guaranteed system sellers going to be showing up at the C3: 3D Mario, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers. Those things will sell like 20, 20 million units on their own, no question. The problem is, is that aside from that, I want something a little bit more out there to be a like get the gamers excited. And, and, and you'll get that. Ed. You and you'll get that. You better. Uh, you know, <laughs> Well, yeah, well, obviously, we better get that, but right now, in the state Nintendo's in, we're not going to get that, which is Where? why I want that next Metroid game by Retro Studios, Star because, yes, Fox. it may not be something that's new from them, but God damn it, I love the Prime series, with the exception of maybe two, but it's something, it's something I want, not as just a Metroid fan, but that's like 98% of the reason, but I just want a game to play on the Wii U. <laughs> you know? Pikmin 3 comes out in two months. Like, I need yeah, like to justify that months. purchase I made. That's, no, so, they, so they say, Ted, so like, they say. June, yeah, so they say, like, two and a half months until I have with, something with how that often I Nintendo, to like. With how often Nintendo delays shit, I just don't assume any release date until, like, a week before. No, don't do, don't, don't do that, because Pikmin 2 tripped me up on that, where they delayed... No, Rayman Legends, better example. They delayed that like two weeks before its release date. That's why I said a week. Yeah. Once it's a week, you have no choice but to release it. <laughs> They've already got the copies in the stores. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, man. So, yeah, it's basically, I understand why they would go say, but they need to throw something out there besides just, yay Smash, yay Mario, we're going to sell a bunch of copies next, with these next. safe things. No, no, well, no, they, no, they, they need to do thing. some. They need, they need, they need to have one, least one thing. thing. Well, one thing this year, yeah. Yes, but for right now, in the no, state Nintendo, like, 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 like I said, I understand, I understand, I understand that from that perspective. But they still need one or two things out there just to say, "Hey, we're not going to just do Mario, Mario, Mario every year. We're not and, just going to do safe, but safe, but safe." Better not be Zelda either, Zelda or. Well, or, that, that's that's Zelda, that's that's, that's why they're releasing the Wind Waker. Yeah, I think they already got their hands full with Zelda with the Wind Waker HD release and the sequel to A Link to the Past. I think yeah, uh, okay. It's 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 shocking how predictable Nintendo's going to be because since they need a guaranteed seller for next year, that's probably going to be their fucking Zelda title. Well, again, that's why. Well, that's why they need something different. They can't just do the same things over and over because even by the time they started trying to give it harder at the end of the week, no one cared. I actually, I'm going to make a prediction. Despite the very slow start of the Nintendo uh, Wii U. I actually think this is actually going to be Nintendo's most experimental console. Mm. Well, yeah, well, that, that's safe to say because really, after like the first year or two of Wii games, they no sort one of gave went, a shit. No, they they went back. They realized that new Super Mario Brothers would sell money and sort of restarted rehashing shit on that. And, but by experimental, I mean game library. Obviously, we yeah, already uh, we well, already 
we're they're going to play it safe. Yeah. They're going to play it safe in the beginning, but yeah, I think John's right. They're going to they're going to uh, they're going to branch out a lot more after they've got those system sellers out there and they've got they've got consoles and homes and shit. Where's Star Fox? Where's <laughs> F Zero? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have a lot of franchises that they need to capitalize on, damn it. Well, they need to... The, here's the thing. At this they point, need to, they, they need, need to, to make games lying. so people know who these characters are. Because, you know, I, I, my brothers play Smash Brothers, and they don't know what kind of games Fox are, is from, or what kind of games F-Zero... Uh, not F, uh, Captain Falcon is from. <laughs> How does F-Zero do what he does? <laughs> How does F-Zero do what he does? Where does he keep all of his missiles? <laughs> Like you, you need they to. Need, they need, need to stop. To... They need to stop relying on Mario so much. Here's a question. Mario, yeah, you, you need to. Mario, you, you know, having your big face of the company that always sells is fine, but if that's all you're relying on, you turn into Sega. <laughs> Here's a question. Question for you guys. Obviously, um, uh, we know that Earthbound is being released on the virtual console. No. But do you, hold They're on. Not, no. no. The, 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 the creator of Earthbound said he's not making a fourth game. No, 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 no. What no, they're not going to release three just... over here either. No, 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 no. Let me finish my fucking sentences, would you? <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> I was going to ask, they stated that the reason why they finally released Earthbound on the virtual consoles because everybody in the Miiverse wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Well, that's just the Earthbound fan base. Do you general. think the same could apply to a Star Fox or F-Zero title? No. Well, kind of. Possibly. Possibly. The thing is, is that the it's problem... nice to have this direct connection to Nintendo so you can spam things at them that they won't just, that won't be filtered to their spam box, you know? It's just like, if you send Nintendo an email asking for F-Zero, they're just going to ignore it. But if you draw a picture of Captain Falcon saying, show me a new F-Zero game, they're a little <laughs> bit more uh, in, in, interested in that. Basically, the, basically, it's I think it was a combination of, hey, you know, it takes very little effort and money to just put it on the virtual console. And they were so, and that Earthbound fan base was insanely vocal. It's, well, it's, I think. I, that I think if Star Fox fans and F Zero fans are just as insanely vocal, we might at least get another game. It could be either digital or physical release. I don't care, but you know, I think at this it's point, it's been with, ten years. I know, I know, but it's with the new Miiverse. I think F Zero GX, my favorite racing game. <laughs> Where's my sequel? I think at this point, Star Fox and F Zero fans need to just start fucking screaming. Well, no, it's they—they they don't really. Yeah, the thing is that these games have never really had like super devoted fan bases. Sixty-four just, does. Well, no, but here's the thing: it's just like you don't see uh, Star Fox fans the same way you see Sonic fans or Earthbound fans. And don't—I'm not saying that's a bad thing. No, it's a good thing. Stay <laughs> yeah, calm, but, guys. But here's the thing, though: it's fans. been too damn do long. Think, do you think all of those Earthbound fans are from people that actually own the actual game? No, no they're they not. I—I <laughs> I, I can. Earthbound, hold on, I've got VG charts up on, up on, uh, for... But it doesn't, for, sales figures doesn't even matter at this point. We so all emulation know. Emulation keeps franchises yeah. alive. I was going to say, like, we, don't, we don't even need sales figures at this point. We all know that probably, like, 90% of the Earthbound fan base are playing the game via emulation. They're not actually owning the cartridge. You can't <laughs> afford the game if you want to buy a cartridge. Like, a hundred bucks. <laughs> That none of that money goes back to Nintendo, so I think it's just a matter of Star Fox and F Zero fans just to me just need to be louder, just louder. That's I'm plenty I'm fucking louder. You're not. You're pretty mellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. How about this then? No new F Zero game in the next and in, in the next year. Falcon punching their offices, <laughs> which <laughs> it, which means destroying them. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, how do you punch an office? <laughs> It's a falcon punch, John. Oh, falcon punch, okay. I didn't hear the falcon punch, I just heard punch. Alright. So basically, basically, my opinion on Nintendo is they have a lot to possibly gain, but they have a lot to shoot themselves in the foot over. They, yeah. so they, need, to, they need to not be predictable. I think, <laughs> on top of, like, they have enough to guarantee, to, to guarantee sales. They just need to do something on top of that in order to succeed. But either yeah. way, they're still going to beat Xbox. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they would have to like make Smash look awful in order to lose to Microsoft this E3. 
They would have to make Smash Tetris, look Tetris worse block than for Smash 4. Or, they would have to make Smash look worse than the original graphically and in terms of uh character all, char- all characters are all characters are boxed. The only stage is like Final Destination and we've taken out all items. <laughs> no, you can only play as Mario, Luigi, Blue, to- Blue Toad and Yellow Toad. Toad. <laughs> Damn it. And Fox. <laughs> and Abbott. Smash Brothers, Wii U. And and, and Abbott takes no damage. <laughs> Yeah, fuck. <laughs> it's multiplayer, you, you know, unlike the up. last three games. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, uh, okay. What off the wall release from just to end it off? What off the wall release do you want Nintendo to uh, show for this E3? <laughs> um, Nintendo. That's a tough question. I have how about really... this, Captain Falcon Bounty Hunter? <laughs> I'd buy that game. <laughs> How about just run, it turns out into, it turns into a god and clone. How about if we find out out of nowhere that Final Fantasy 15 is Square Enix's big return to being Nintendo exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. I'm, I'm more specific now. Captain Falcon Bounty Hunter, that's a god hand clone, but just fixed. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> I couldn't answer the off the wall comment. And it's, just, and it's not called god hand, it's called falcon hand. <laughs> no, falcon punch. Falcon punch. <laughs> I only got Nintendo consoles around the time the Wii came out, so I can't really say much on Nintendo, to be honest. Okay. So. A Castlevania game I care about. A Castlevania Castle- game. How about Castlevania Five done in the Castlevania Four style? How about how about we go back to the classic Castlevania series first of all? Lords of Shadow was a great. No, God Lords of, of Shadow is the best-selling Castlevania game. It was I'm a not- great. God of War game. It was a fantastic <laughs> God of War game. It's better than the God of War series. Um, but, you know, I, I, I kind of want my Castlevania games to be Castlevania games. I'm still waiting for that 1999 game, Konami. <laughs> Hold yeah. on. I'm pretty sure Castlevania Lords of Shadow is the best-selling Castlevania game. It is, I think. It's an awesome game. I love Lords Spe- of Shadow. Speaking, of, speaking of Konami, what are you doing for Metal Gear Solid 5? <laughs> it's just, you know, it's it's a it's well, a between, God of... Okay, here it is. Between the PS3 and Xbox 360 version, uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow has sold more than Symphony of the Night. Well, so, that's not surprising, I... honestly. But It's not surprising, yeah. But um, uh, at the same time, is it held in this high regard after no. the fact? <laughs> no. <laughs> of course not. It is a fantastic war game, but it doesn't really have an identity of its own. Um, it, it's like... I like the idea of the reboot, but the only really memorable thing about it was that the final boss was the devil, and that uh, the devil was naked, and... Um, it's symbolic! Um, and it has Picard as a narrator, a slash villain character. The villain was a spoiler alert, by the way. Sorry, you're not supposed to do that until you... Picard, no! <laughs> they've are, no He's they've joined the Borg. Ended. They're gonna show off... If they're gonna show off any Castlevania game, it'll be Lords of Shadow 2, which they already have announced. So Lords of Shadow 2, um, isn't that supposed to be a modern age where you play as Dracula Gabriel? The game will star Gabriel as Dracula as he seeks to regain his lost power to combat a new threat while dealing with the Belmont clan who wants him dead. Basically, Dracula's the good guy. <laughs> the modern Belmont age. clan, wait. I'm Belmont. <laughs> <laughs> Identity crisis! Identity crisis! Okay, speaking of Konami, though, what's Metal Gear Solid Five gonna be about? It's They've already anna- it's okay. announced it, yes, but what's it gonna be about? Because we already, because Revengeance was its own good little side thing. I don't see, I don't know why you, you're not, they're not gonna make the whole franchise about that, though. Revengeance, the Stealth series, put out a better action game than the series that defined the action genre for years to come. Yeah, what? so we have the big, we have the big boss game, which looks awesome, and it's more open ended, basically that, more free roaming. Heroes, right? Yeah, the heroes, whatever, big boss Ground, game. Ground Zeroes. Ground. Isn't that like a? That's, that's the big boss game. Though. Right. Yeah, but it, it's Big Boss basically doing everyone mostly is self. Pitching, everyone is pitching a bitch because they changed Big Boss's, Boss's voice, voice actor. actor. Yeah, because he's not David, David Hayter. Hayter. Although, well, to be wasn't honest... was Hayter that... normal Snake's voice actor? No, he was, he was Big Boss, too. He was, he was Big Boss in uh, all of the games up until now because Solid Snake, Snake is a Big, Big Boss clone. clone. 
Yeah, but uh, when Big Boss appeared in Metal Gear Solid 4, he had a completely different older man voice. Um, so I, I think part of the reason they're changing that is Big Boss is an old fuck now. He's going to have that sort of voice going on. Um, yeah, but so you have the big we have the Big Boss game that's you know definitely the more stealth game in response to Revengeance. Right? Vengeance is still a really good game. What is Five gonna do? Well, Five is still Big Boss though. Is it? Yeah, five is big boss. Right. Didn't they end the series with four? Wasn't that like the big? Five was, yeah, but but obviously the big boss games are prequels. Uh, they uh, they like ended big fucking the, boss. they ended the the entire story arc that they were going with, which in, included big boss himself, the Patriots, which turned out to be something that was put together by the big boss generation. They um they killed off Ocelot for good. Um, they killed off Vamp for good. They ba they killed off Snake, or implied no that he died of old age after the fact, which was kind of it was a sending off game. It was it tied up everything in a really fucking convoluted way, but that was the point of the game to tie up everything that came before, and end that story. Um, Revengeance takes place after it. It was supposed to be a between game at some point, but they changed it for some reason. It takes place after it, but it's not really vital. Yeah. It, it, it's it's more like it, hey it everyone should... liked writing in the season four let's make a game around that yes <laughs> they really, it, it, and it, it is the, awesome it's the cyborg ninja game that everyone wanted since well, it was, Fox. yeah it was, it was originally it was actually supposed to be a gray fox game it was originally supposed to be a Gray Fox game, then it was supposed to be a game that explained what Raiden was doing between mm -hmm. 2 and 4, but then they made it a sequel game that takes place after 4. It's, it was all over the place. Development hell. Uh, what I, they came out with was really good. <laughs> but Story-wise, story it's Metal Gear Solid, so it's always a mess. But <laughs> I, I don't know what they plan on doing with 5, though. I mean, it's another big boss game, but... And Big, you know, boss, is, and gonna... big boss is awesome. <laughs> But... Uh, Big Boss is awesome, but you know... Eventually they're going to run out of prequel space. I, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. You know he's not going to die. <laughs> you know, you, you well, he's have... died before. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, that, just, that just removes tension. It's 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 the exact opposite of a foregone conclusion. Uh, it's like uh, for, for forgetting the point that the sequels were crap. The prequels were crap. When you went into was the Star awesome. What, no, I'm talking about Star Wars. Oh, I thought you were talking uh, about Metal Gear. I'm like, no, Metal Gear 3 was awesome. Disregarding the fact that the prequels were crap, in Star Wars, when you went into the Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, Revenge of the Sith, you knew how it was going to end. <laughs> it was just a matter of getting there. Um, it, like, going into it, uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, you knew Zack was going to die in the end. But there was a certain foreboding there. That is enough to draw... To, to drive a foregone conclusion and to give it some sort of value when you know the pre when you know beforehand that Harry Potter is going to survive why are you reading the rest of the book that, <laughs> is, that, well, it, that, that is what everyone did when the seventh book came out turn to the last he, page he lives he the last page he lives okay <laughs> it's like I, I there's the story on the way there but you're kind of spoiling the tension there's no tension anymore you know voldemort dies harry potter lives everything's hunky-dory in the end they it's name fun. their kids stupid fucking names <laughs> <laughs> like there, there, there's this whole um like i believe like the phantom paint to paint is named after that feeling that you get when you lose a limb yeah um you know so apparently like, apparently like i'm because he was in a coma trailers. for like eight years or so he was he was in a coma for like yeah eight to nine years he lost a limb but in the end what does that mean you know it was like is that is that going to be incorporated into the gameplay where you can only aim with one hand, or uh, I I don't know, but Big Boss looks awesome. <laughs> it, it's going back to stealth and it's more open world than before, kind of going back to a Metal Gear Solid yeah. Three sort of thing, which I am yeah, all for. The point is they need to show off more before it becomes a really a main draw on its own, rather than just being a a surefire seller because of the title. Uh, yeah, I need to see more to be interested in the game itself. How is Kojima going to confuse us this time? <laughs> How about he doesn't? It was all a dying dream of Solid Snake. <laughs> no, oh, what? Ted is Ted is pretty much assumed that the story is going to confuse the fuck out of you. That's part of the draw of Metal Gear Solid at this point. How confusing can they possibly make it this time? 
convoluted, long, drawn out cutscenes um, where they somehow. Uh, I'm kind of impressed by the fact that Metal Gear Solid managed to tie stuff up at all. <laughs> Even if you have to go over the plot points a couple times to really make sense of them. Um, but, uh, yeah. It's... 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 It, it's kind of like if Kingdom Hearts were good in its plot, it would sort of be like this. It's convoluted, but there's sense to be had there. You're entertained by the story rather than yeah. just fucking confused. Yeah. 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 Um, is there anything else to talk about on that point? No. Any other um, the publishers? Second. Because Sega. <sighs> you know what? Uh, publishers. Sega. Um, God. We're getting three what? Sonic games for Nintendo and Bayonetta 2. <laughs> Ted, you uh, go first, because I can already hear your exacerbated sighs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's they really hard for me to give a shit about Sonic the Lost World. Okay, that's the best way I can put it. Look, more friends. <laughs> the problem, you know, the thing here they, is that I saw, it, I saw that teaser image. The first thing I thought is, oh god, fan base, please don't make a big fucking obnoxious deal about one fucking teaser image. You did. went and made a big fucking obnoxious deal about one teaser image. Good job, guys. Now they were then they released a second image with all the silhouetted friends. Oh, oh, okay, oh I look. thought those were just reject extra designs from Monsters Incorporated. <laughs> look, I have been saying Skylanders, but okay. Okay, look, I this is the same point I made about Metal Gear, uh, Metal Gear Solid Five just now, um, but it applies even more Okay, we need to see more of the actual game before we're going to give us fuck beyond the fact that it has Sonic in the title. It's the Sonic. It's, it's, it's the, the Sonic. Sonic fan base. There's nothing. The Sonic fan base. Yeah, but 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 but, but what's there? To talk, there's nothing to talk about beyond. Oh my God, friends, which is jumping to assumptions, which is I don't give a shit. Why are we, as brain scratch commentaries, the intelligent trio who is better than that, talking about it? <laughs> Wait, trio? So who's the dumb one? <laughs> who's the dumb one? I well, like that. A trio was four people. <laughs> so Lewis. <laughs> no, no, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about you three with myself as that guy who keeps dropping because my computer dies. Um, well, at this point, no, at, at this point, well, just at this point, Sega's track record with adding new characters isn't exactly solid. I, uh, so per, like, personally, I'm this. It, we're probably better off just waiting till we actually get some more concrete information because we're actually. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not making any game. assumptions on the game whatsoever. It's just, you know, they show off a bunch of possible, you know, eventual new characters. Sega doesn't exactly have the best record with that in well, Sonic we're, games. We're so. getting more information of the game on the 29th. Mm -hmm. Um they're going to give us an actual trailer and hopefully not just an announcement of an announcement of an announcement of an announcement of a teaser. Uh, but here's my thing. This is one thing I'll say right now. I have hopes for this one because no, it's my... – here's my here, – what? It's exclusive. It's an exclusive. Yeah. It's not multi-platformer yet. I don't know. They could pull a Legends at the very last second and develop it well, for the – Well, it's being published by Nintendo, so I don't think that they would even be let – Allowed to. Uh, oh, okay, and if that's the case, then well, yeah, I mean, I know Nintendo and Sega have the pu the partnership, but I'm still a little fuzzy on those details. I think I have it's hopes... more that I think Nintendo has some sort of hand in how the game is being made. I so. have hopes for this one because it's exclusive. They don't have to worry about porting it to because I know it pisses people off that it's not getting a 360 release or PS3 or especially PC. But you know, to me, if if it results in a quality Sonic title. That's in the end, I all I care about. Yeah, well, I, I'm just I'm looking at the Im teaser image, and already it's showing me exactly what I didn't want to see from a, the Sonic game. Well, we don't even. But, they don't even well, need well, to be well, friends. They might the, just be. The they image. might just be pedestrians that sit in the background of. Yeah, they oh, could be just oh. greetings. No, no, I'm not talking about the friends. I'm talking about the image of the planet made of hexagons. Okay, you know the thing okay. that I said I, I've said about generations is, is that after this, they need to stop playing it safe and they need to do something interesting. You want to know what I see? I see the tornado. I see. Sonic, I see tails, and I see an ice level, a desert level, a grass level, an ice level, a mountain level. You know, the most boring, bland game design tropes that we've seen since the NES days, and that's okay. not getting me very excited wait, for... Wait, no. Uh, the, wait, well, well thinking well, about... Uh, beyond the level tropes, which... Uh... To be honest, the, the level tropes themselves aren't exactly as important as the levels, but we need to see more of the game first. Um, beyond the level tropes, what about the entire picture? It's, it's a planet covered in hexagons, right? Well, it's no, it's just more... 
showing me that basically telling me that we're going to have the most generic cliched level motifs ever designed for our game is not a good way to get me excited it, when what it, I really it's called Lost World. Wait, that. did they did they just abandon making a Sonic 4 episode 3 and just say, "Hey, let's pick up that plot point. A, a pl little planet floated off mechanical shell. Let's bring it back for a console game." <laughs> is that what's happening here? <laughs> no, I think it's just an entirely different game. The, the like trailer that. that they show when they do show a trailer better be fucking spectacular. Because I might, if, no, if it's no, not anything interesting no. looking, I'm considering just skipping it altogether or not buying. You know it. what? You know what looks good in trailers as far as Sonic games go? Loop de loops. We're not going to see nearly as much of the level as there is. And we're not going to see nearly as much gameplay as spectacle in a Sonic trailer. That's more or less a given. They're well, going actually, to be on. a lot of running through loops and a lot of high speed running as fast as possible. Automatic shit. With, yeah, like, no, maybe just... an occasional two seconds of Sonic jumping onto a platform just to assure us that, yes, you're going to be doing something in this game at some point. <laughs> but, no, you know... The thing, is, the thing is that Nintendo's doing that thing with Best Buy, where you can go to a Best Buy and play demos of games that they show at E3. Smash, 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 If they smash, have a... Smash, they have smash, a smash, 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 smash. Only so if there's a, there's a chance point. that we get a demo for this to play there's with chance, them. But I, I doubt it's going to happen this early when they've only just announced it. Smash, smash, they, smash, they, smash, 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 smash. I don't know, Lewis, because I, I wouldn't think they would have something ready because uh, I was actually uh -huh. uh, mentioning, um, here's what, here I was, I was actually mentioning um, about a month ago when they uh, initially announced Arkham Origins Batman and then it's coming out this October. And how that frightens the fuck out of me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, if they've got, if they've got, well, they might have just announced it late, to be honest. But say that's not exactly Sega style. <laughs> so I don't. I'm not going to assume they've announced it late. I'm going to assume they've announced it as early as fucking possible. Well, you see, but here's the thing, though. We, uh, Generations was announced in April of 2011, and we got it that November. Yeah, and using a pre-existing game engine that was just tweaked this is for that. probably so working on the generations. Engine. I'm gonna assume this is another it, boot game. It might. Yeah, you're right. Uh, but uh, but, you know, I would think if they have, if they have something playable, then they might. It might be part of that whole Best Buy deal that Nintendo has with them. Smash, 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 smash. It will be, and if if we're lucky, it will be, and if we're lucky, we'll get some. Uh, footage of a full level uh, to get some sense of how the game is going to be played and balanced. Or you can it's go to your nearby Best Buy. If, if there's a Smash the demo at the Best Buy, I'm just living there until Smash actually comes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we really can't talk about Sonic Lost World at this point. Which, which, is, which, is, which makes it amazing that we've talked about it for as long as we have. <laughs> okay, then we should just move on. <laughs> To the X-Bone! <laughs> Where to begin? 1984 uh, was a warning, not a you know manual. What? I don't even care about how boxed that thing looks. Yes, it looks like a VCR. I don't give a shit. I, it could look like a fucking... It could look like a fucking Volkswagen buggy, and as long as it was a good console on the inside, I wouldn't care. I don't know. I can't fit that entire thing in my room. I it's fucking it. huge, uh, needlessly huge. Um, that is a problem. Um, the fact that it's needlessly huge and probably re um, requires the use of an equally of an almost equally needlessly huge Connect Two to even function. Yeah, that's what bugs me the most. Connect Two watches you master. <laughs> That, no, it's the, the good thing at the very least is that since it's based on uh, based on Microsoft technology, you'll be able to hack into it and turn that shit off. Here's or what at thing. least you better be able to. Because we're still getting details about this thing. The Connect 2, please tell me that's wireless. It's wireless, right? It, it doesn't actually connect to the console. It, it doesn't matter. It's completely necessary for it to run, which then in itself it, no, but makes that's it what a... I'm getting at, because... Five, 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 five. If we have, if the Connect Two is like attached to the console via like wire, then it's gonna stick out like a fucking tumor. You know, it's the 32x to the, and uh, I just, I just hope it's wireless. That's all I can hope for. It, it doesn't. It, it to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't the fact matter. that it's necessary is. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah we can... Okay. Good. My, I had to mute my mic for for a second, and uh, I can't. My mute light doesn't turn on. Um, what were you saying? Oh, uh, the, the, the Connect. 
the connect, connect, connect. The, the connect. I, I don't. I don't know how exactly how I can back up my argument with this, but there's just something inside me that thinks the connect who should have been inside the system itself. Well, no, I can understand them it making it different because of the because of the the camera. Yeah, the, 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 yeah you, uh, you do need to be able to position the connect somewhere convenient for the camera, but on the same note of, as that, it's too big to be positioned like on top of a flat screen television or um. Connect two watches you masturbate. The connect two's fucking ginormous. Oh, Lewis, were you firing a machine gun there for a second? <laughs> well, I didn't get how big are these things supposed to be? Like, uh... hey, look, look, I've got an email in my inbox that shows the connect two. Sitting on top of the fucking Xbox One, okay? This is what it. Are we talking it, about the original Xbox or the new system? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> but let's just call it the X Bone from now on. Uh, that was but, a stupid, but, stupid it, name. It's not really like sitting on top of it, but it looks like a console in itself almost. It's probably about as big at, at the uh, look from this picture. Compared to the like... okay, compared to the size of a Wii sensor bar, how big is the Connect? The Wii sensor bar could literally fit in that little gap. The sensor bar is this fucking thin bit of plastic. The Kinect is practically a small console. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. And uh, you know, it, it's, it's almost, I'm not sure if these uh, pictures are to scale, the ones I'm looking at, but the Kinect 2 is about as, almost as wide as the console itself. In the picture, yeah, you know what, but but you know what, the the controller's kind of big compared to how big we know that the Xbox itself is. So you know what, the Connect Two is probably smaller than it looks in this picture. Um, yeah, next... that, that's what, that's why what I was wondering if it was to scale or not. So judging by this camera lens and the fact that this does not look like a thin thing, looking at it, I'm going to say it's probably about as big as maybe a little smaller than a slim PS3. Um, in terms of, in prob terms of width. probably not as long front to back, but in terms of uh, length, it's probably a a little smaller than that. It looks like something you would s you would stack on top of your console when you have it on top of a dresser or on top of a table somewhere that's not in a slot of your entertainment system. It might possibly be like a taller slim PS2. Hmm. Is what it looks like to me. Uh, if I'm generous with it. It, it, it looks very cumbersome as a peripheral. I'm it just, hoping it uh, had better fucking damn it, it better fucking come with the console though if it's going it to is, be it is. Yeah, yeah, the Connect Two is you need the Connect Two to use the Xbox in the begin with, so it has to yeah. come with the console. I, I've heard all sorts of things. I've heard face facial recognition to the point where if your friend walks into your room and wants to play a game on your console, he can't. No, no it's not Scott, it's not it's not quite that, but there is going to be um, personal recognition DRM, where if there's too many people watching the media, it will turn off. Wait, what? what? That is dumb. Yeah. What? Not for gaming, but for streaming content like movies and TV and stuff. That's Why? stupid! Yeah. Oh, I see. They don't want you lending your console to your friends so they can use your Netflix. That's um, so uh, if I, no, I have no, a big family. Know I've got uh, no, me, my it, sister, my two brothers, my mom, my dad, and my aunt. Now, There's the, seven here, people now the, living the in thing this about house. that, and that Microsoft themselves haven't confirmed that. This problem is that we they definitely patented that for if the Connect Two, and that's so true, they they, they, they still have they still have time. They they had better fucking have twenty. Let, let me finish. Okay. They have patented it for specifically for the Connect Two. They have not said anything about it specifically themselves. The problem is that why else would you patent it for something very specific if you're not going to use it? They're not That's... commenting on it, but at the same time, they're not deconfirming it either. The problem, yeah. They're digging themselves into a hole. You want to know why? I think they're not commenting on it because they know we're not going to like the answers and they're already in deep enough shit already. They can't come out and say anything about the, DR, like the, the DRM or the used games because they know that we're not going to like the answer no matter what they uh, what, what it is so they're just not saying anything and just um just a quick forewarning if if any of us are getting our details i'm talking to the audience obviously at this point if, if any of us are getting our details well, the, wrong, the, the, the problem is no one's sure on anything because yeah that's the thing we don't There's claim of... to say anything is concrete but if any of us are actually are wrong then we'll just let e3 shut us up you know okay. but uh, there's a lot of information floating around, and it's hard to tell at this. It, it's hard to tell the way it, it, it's kind of. Some of it might be getting blown out of proportion, with like extra details added on by 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 overexcited.
fanboys, fan, uh, not anti fanboys, sorry, overexcited anti fanboys that are, that that are taking things and reading too much into them, and then, uh, and then imagining up new details and touting them off as fact. Yeah. So, but let's let's narrow our scope. What do we know for certain? Use games it are getting a fee. Want- we can watch TV with our Xbox. No, I don't not, already have a TV but, right here. Let, let me. Can, can I explain for a moment how this used game getting a fee thing works? Because it's really fucking obnoxious. Okay, there. Every game is going to install on the system. There's a one-time use code that you need to use to install the game on the system in order to play it. And when you only have 500 gigabytes of data, that's going to fill up really fast. But what happens if yeah, well, no, no, my you, Xbox let, dies let, and I need let, to get a new one? I've got to pay to play all these fucking you, games. No, get... You know what? They have license transfer pr- procedures for existing consoles. I assume they're going to have one for that. For, but for what the I, no, but that, that, that I'm doesn't saying, cover no, you know everything, what? though. It doesn't I, cover everything, and you know what? You'll still have to reinstall even if you transfer the licenses. But you know what? That stuff might even be... Um, held on your Xbox Live account, so it's probably not going to be as big a thing. But let me finish, okay? If you lend your 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 hard copy of, say, Devil May Cry 6, uh, theoretical, I lend my hard copy of Devil May Cry 6 to my best friend, he has to pay the used game fee to install it on his system in order to play. Yeah, that's so dumb, though, because... <sighs> I, I, you're, only I read, going, um, you're only going to hurt it, people from buying games because what if they're not sure? Maybe they'll buy it if they actually have a chance it, to play it it's once. Not just use, it's not just anti-use game. It's anti-rental. The GameStop's going to die from it's this. Just, it's this, it's two things. Good, I, be, I believe I read a report that Microsoft said that if if it's your friend playing it, they, they won't have to pay a fee. But you know what that involves, right? If you, you want your, your friend, friend your to play, Xbox you're, you have to give your friend yeah. your account information. It's like no. It's like it's like I, I trust all of you guys. I do. I I, I love you, Ted, Ryan, <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> but I would not uh, give you my account information. What? I would I, not. Don't you want your dashboard to be nothing but the link laughing face from the CTI Zelda games? <laughs> don't you want me sending pictures of d- dick pictures over your Xbox account? I'm- Hold my tongue on that matter because I'm, we're not sure exactly how it's going to do it, but I imagine it would be something like um, the like uh, like the PSN. You can install the the games that you've uh, purchased off the PSN on five devices. So there might be a limit to the number of users you can share your games with. I'm not um, giving them any benefit of the doubt because everything it, we've seen it, it's entirely too convoluted though. Um, uh, it, it, it's like one major headache for the consumer, and all it does is is, is force you to do things in a certain way so that they can uh, prevent you from getting games in ways that don't get them money. Now, yeah, I'm all for money. I'm all for incentives to buy new games rather than used games because used games uh, don't exactly give any money to the publishers or developers, and it, it's kind of it, it's. it's I only a, buy used when I have used. To. Use games are half the reason developers have to put extra shit in their games to make them more, uh, more new game friendly, um, and, and you know that that, that it, a lot of otherwise good games get get all this crap lumped on top of them because of that. Okay, I if there was a small fee that went dev- directly to the developers, I would be less I would be less uh, I would be less hostile toward this, but I know that's not going to happen. It, 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 at, at best, developers are going to get a small part of this fee, and Microsoft is going to get the majority of no, it. Microsoft's going to get all of it. They could Microsoft and the publishers are going to get the biggest cut, I believe. Uh, yeah. But, and I, oh, and also, read, uh, independent read, developers can't self-publish anymore. But you know, that, that's bullshit. mandatory installs are such a fucking buzzkill as they are, and as are right now they only happen on the ps3 because as a consequence of the ps3 having a fucking slow ass disk drive that's early gen blu-ray which won't be a problem with the ps4 they'll have a they'll they'll have a higher tech blu-ray uh reader that will be able to read at optimum speed that you won't need to install anything to play it Uh, Um, going back to the indie thing that's bullshit because you know indie games are a big part of Steam sales. They're a big part of... Uh, I, and Nintendo's uh, just made their indie policies a lot less uh, obnoxious. Like, you don't... You can you can garage develop for Nintendo now. I don't think you could do that before. Um, and, yeah, so it's just like between Steam, a PlayStation Network, and uh, the eShop, Microsoft's pretty much just fuck, saying fuck you to a potentially uh, profitable source of income there. 
Well, Wait, the indie stuff. Well, well, I haven't heard anything on their indie game. Indie, they, they, like, maker, games makers, not, so indie publishers can't self-publish on the Xbox Live account arcade anymore. Do you realize that Castle Crashers, which is an indie game, sold like 3 million copies off of your Xbox Live account? And they self-published that shit, Xbox. You're throwing whole money here. What the oh, fuck? Fuck, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why Why not? Do they think it's too risky or what? I guess. Uh, I, I don't know what the actual reason is for it, but, you know, I, I, I've read that um, the um, used game fee is $50. Use game fee is fifty dollars. That's the oh for you're, fuck. You're 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 pretty much paying full retail price. But but you know what the, the the other thing that and this is this is another factor that's sort of outside the Xbox itself. Used games rentals that stuff is keeping the full price of games down, because full game uh, because full price games need to compete with used games. That's why the price has remained at sixty dollars. Even though at this point they could reasonably, if they had if they didn't have that competition, they could jack the price up to a hundred per game. I would not pay a hundred dollars for it. I would be I, I would be very very reluctant to pay a hundred dollars because well, uh, it's like a third of my monthly paycheck. But <laughs> no, it's just like if Pikmin three Pikmin three costs a hundred dollars. If let's just say that the game's like twenty hours, right? That's that. Ugh, no. I'm it, not a hundred dollars for a twenty-hour game. What it all comes down to is that the Xbox One, the X Bone, is coming to look like the Nazi Germany of console gaming. It's it's just it's so oppressive. It's it's just dictatorship in console form. It's the, I I can't look at this thing without getting mad. No, no, the you want to mind this window so I don't have to look at it. The thing the thing is is that <laughs> we, a lot of this stuff is pro yes probably getting overblown. Probably. But if their conference actually focused on the system instead of on football and MMA fighters, we wouldn't have this fucking problem. What about the other special feature of the Xbox? TV. TV, TV, TV. There are TV, 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 Call of Duty, 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 Dog, Call of Duty. Watching TV. TV achievements. Achievements for watching TV. You sat through an entire episode of American Idol without fast-forwarding through the commercials. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. 20 gamer score. But you know what? 20. You know, what a rip. I get what they're doing with that. I get what they're doing with that. I see what they're doing with that. And you know why it is? Because video games... I. All right, there is a reason that Fox News fixates so much on lambasting video games, and it's not because of morals. It's because those video games are stealing viewers' time away from them. Video games are direct competition to TV, but if you try to wind them up into the same device, you're sort of alienating them. No, here's why, the thing, do you, like... why would I? Why do I have to pay subscription fee for things that already require subscription fees? Okay, you know, I'm thinking here. Nintendo has a has a TV app with their Nintendo TV thing. You know, they they have, but the thing is that they didn't spend they didn't talk about that during their unveil of the system. You know, that was just an extra feature that they talked about during yeah, some well, inky little I am, conference. I am later. entirely for uh, consoles having uh, the features to watch video games, uh, not watch, watch movies, uh, television shows. All, Netflix, I, all you need is a net, all you need is Netflix and Hulu. It like That's you all know, you like, need. Well, yeah. Well, they have apps for all sorts of uh, – uh, on the PSN, I've got like four different apps on there for like an anime show network. Um, what an what uh, Neon Alley There's Neon Alley Alley sucks. There's Hulu. There's, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's a YouTube app. Uh, there's, um, there's, 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 there's um, Netflix, of course. You know, having all that stuff on your console is great, okay? It's, uh, I can use my console to get stuff. Uh, you know what? I might not even have to pay for cable anymore. <laughs> but um, – <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but the thing is, um, when you make that uh, you, making that stuff the main uh, a main a big time main draw of your console is the same thing as Nintendo making the Wii's main draw the casual shovelware market. It's going to you're you're pushing you're making a gaming console that's going to push gamers away. Well, you see, that's but that, that's the thing though. Microsoft isn't pushing this as a gaming console; they're pushing it as a multimedia console. You don't the, need a multimedia thing. But, though, but here's the thing: but, the thing Why is that like they they, they 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 made such a big 
fucking push about you know how mm-hmm. you can watch TV, TV, TV through TV, your TV. Xbox. But the thing is, though, you still need a service provider to do all that shit. So you still in need to pay a subscription to, fee for you, Netflix. Yeah, it's like it's that. not like it's not like the Xbox. It's not like replacing your cable box. Yeah, it's not like it's replacing anything. It's just another peripheral to yeah. add to your entertainment center. You're just uh, you're just pushing everything into the console itself for the sake of convenience, and that's all it is. It's just a matter of convenience. Here's my thing: multimedia device. If I want a multimedia device that can do all this shit, you know what? I'll go out and get a computer. <laughs> that, that's just it. Like it's like all the all the things you're. They, they've given you no reason to buy an Xbox. So they're just going that's to PC exactly gaming. where I'm at right now. It's like, look, you're pushing. The- you're, you're trying to sell this thing to me as a multimedia console. You guys are making the biggest fucking deal that I can watch TV through this stuff. I can watch sports, 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 all Call that of kind of Call stuff. Of Duty, Call but here's of Duty. the thing. I already have my Direct TV box hooked up. I am not going to reroute that thing to my Xbox One because that's not convenient. I have a computer that gives me my internet, and I have TV to watch TV. <laughs> you know... Just because you kind of need a TV in the first place to use the console. <laughs> no, it's just you guys are not selling me with what you're make you trying to help the system to be. It's it's, it's I, like oh you can you know, it's like you can also stream all this TV. It's like yeah you can do that on your computer and your computer's more useful. It costs less too. You can get it, a working laptop for like four hundred bucks. It I does not do matter to me. You don't want us to do. <laughs> it does not matter to me that I can get all this shit in just one package. I, I, it, that's just, that's not a system seller to me. It's not. I have an internet connection. I have a service provider. I have, it, no, I, I, I don't, I, it, it's just not working for me. Well, they, they didn't, okay, the only game I can remember them showing is the fucking Call of Duty dog. And that's not even an exclusive game. It's a third-party game that's going to be on every console. It is going to be on every console, right? The ghosts, yeah, whatever. Bet, bets, on, bets on whether the dog dies at the end. It dies. It fucking dies. Uh, oh, don't forget about their other new innovation. Realistic fish swimming AI. The fish actually... <laughs> When you go close to them. Mario 64 did that. <laughs> Every game before it's called Duty did that. Uh, okay. Uh, what else is there to talk about with this thing, this atrocity, this it's brick? It's terrible. That's all you need to say about it is that it's it just... What about its incredibly stupid name? Well, the the Xbox it's still, Wii U is still a worse name. No. At least you... No. I, I yeah. will... I will contend that uh no you know at, what at least you know what? the wii it u gives like you the sense that there's something different I about it calling it the xbox one makes you think the first xbox i have a problem with gaming consoles lately in that everyone except sony seems to you know what sony did this with the ps vita too they're trying to come up with these trendy names for their consoles why do why not just why can't we just call it the, the well, actually initially xbox sony thing. Initially, Sony was going to do that with the uh, PS4 because there's, you know, there's there's this whole stigma with numbers. You know, it's like uh, when a, when a sequel gets to the number four or five, he's like, okay, they're running out of ideas now. Uh, so, like, and I think I read a report that uh, PlayStation Orbit? Four was initially going to be like the PlayStation Orbis yeah. or something like that, but then uh, later down the line, no, that sounds fucking stupid. Who cares about numbers at this point? Let's just call it the PS4 because that's that's what it is. It's because people the... people know exactly what it is when you say exactly. that. Exactly. I like numbers. They show progress. By the uh, way, Sony, when we get to a PlayStation 9, I better be that little holographic QB spear thing. <laughs> like, why, why did the Wii need to be called the Wii? Why, why well, did the it... Wii, that was just some bullshit philosophy. Yeah, the, the naming scheme is stupid. And yes, I agree that the Wii U is a, still a stupid name. They should have called it the Wii 2, so we could have called it the Weenie. But... <laughs> Xbox One. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry, that's funnier than it should be, but only it's, because it's, I get Japanese. It's not a good thing in my book. When the first thing I say, when I, because the first thing I did when I, when they unveiled that name, was that I took a crack at the name. I made fun of the name. That's it, not it, a good sign. Like you, you, what are you well, going to? Wii U or Xbox? Xbox. Xbox. Well, Xbox. Well, what you, it's, it's like you do nothing but confuse people. Look at the Xbox One. You mean the first console? 
it's, been, it's the thing. Like the, the first thing I did when I heard the name was I made fun of it. It was like the Xbox One. I was like, so we took 359 steps back. Yeah, the Xbox Code Sign 720. <laughs> <laughs> I get I get why it's called the Xbox One, but it's still a stupid name, you know? What's but in a name? Then again, I any other name would smell as sweet. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not one of those people that would think the 720 would be a better name because I think the 720 is just as stupid, actually. I can at least understand why they chose not to do Xbox Two just because you know, two is less than three. At least I can understand that. I, I, actually, liked, I actually like the Infinity, the... The, yeah. the, the fan name that people thought of, yeah. but you know, it's Microsoft. That's what they, it's what they want. It's what they're they're in charge. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here's my question: What do Microsoft have to do at E3 in order to get? Uh, okay, I, I, oh winning yeah, winning is here, impossible. Here, 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 here's, them, here's, right? here's what they need to do if they want to quote unquote win. They're not going. Oh, okay, but, how about well, this? Here, so, here, let uh, me let me let me finish. Yeah, you know that console we made. You know that announcement we did two weeks ago. Yeah, that was a joke. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? You know what really bugs me about uh, uh, we haven't even touched the always online portion, did we? The, no, the, the uh, I don't know the thing it's is not that always I don't know if that's online. Sure. It just requires it's you to check in online. once a day. It requires you to check in on a daily basis. What if I don't want to pay for an internet provider? Then you don't get to play Xbox. You're X boned. Yeah. Exactly. What, what, and uh, you know what? The, the, what if I live in an area where I can't get reliable internet? You basically, then Microsoft would tell you to move somewhere else. Yep. <laughs> it's like, who I wanna, mean... Who would want to live in Hoboken? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just like, it, it's, it's all just, it, it's just another layer of DRM. And it's probably, it, it's probably no, the DRM thing you're going to hear. They have DRM too. I don't know it, what it, kind it, of it, it, it is. It is another but... layer of DRM because they're forcing you to share your information with them. And you know what they're touting it as? A feature. They're saying you'll get automatic updates and stuff like that by always checking in automatically with your console. It'll turn on and it'll check. You know what? PlayStation Plus does the same thing. Um, there's an option to turn it off, and it doesn't affect whether or not you can play your console. Yeah. Well, the thing with PlayStation Plus, you're paying for that sort of. Thing. You're paying for that, yeah. But they could, they could make it a non-pay option. That the the fact is, you, even if you're paying for PlayStation Plus, it's not something you need to do. Uh, yeah. It's not something that's tied to whether or not you can use your console to play games. You know, if it was just a built-in option of the system, it would be a feature. It's a mandatory requirement that ties you to them. And it basically kills every single market outside of the U.S. and Canada. Not everyone in Europe is that big on internet. And what do you do if you know someone else in another region just wants to play games? Okay, internet well, isn't basic, as common. Well, U.S. and Japan are pretty much the two. Well, okay, they're going to be. You know what? Throw Japan thing. out there because Microsoft's never been able to sell consoles. No, but they, they've actually been. Um, they're pushing for a bigger. They're well, not. Well, it's well, not here's the problem. Happen. They focus Japan, on TV. Whether or not whether or not it they're happens, not, or not they're, is they're, a they're not going entirely. to because they're focusing too much on TV. With yeah, the race are different gonna, everywhere. I was just going to say whether or not it happens is an entirely different issue. But that's. Well, what I, I don't think it'll happen in Japan because Japan's super xenophobic about this sort of thing. They're not going to buy an American-made console. It's just it's just how they are. You know what? Let's not comment on Japan being xenophobic because that's a whole can of worms I don't want to get into right now. I think has, I, honestly, it has more to do with the TV thing because, oh, we have TV, TV, TV. Okay, all the rights and content provi uh, providers are different everywhere. You can't mm. tell me you're going to be able to come up with deals for freaking everyone everywhere. It's not yeah. going to happen. So, yeah, you can work it with the U.S. because, you know, you're a U.S. company and all that, but you're not going to be able to do that in Japan or Europe or South America or anything. So your whole big selling point from the last reveal is basically moot to everyone outside of North America. That That's just the problem with making a, a, a game system that's not really a game system, is that you... What's the focus? It's the... You know? Xbox One is... It's, it's, it's going to be an American console. But that's its biggest... <laughs> uh, that'll be its biggest flaw, is that it's an American console. Hold on, I need to uh, hold on. I need to check VG charts again to see how well the 360 did outside of America. It did okay in Europe. Well, yeah, I know it did okay in Europe, but I don't know how well it did. Like um... it did horribly in Japan. Well, I know. Okay, global hardware totals. It's, it's 77 million global, 
43 million in uh in America, 24 million in uh Europe. All right. Less than 2 million in Japan. <laughs> is VG charts reliable? VG charts is relatively reliable. It depends on what uh system uh it depends on what game you're talking about, what what system. Basically, it's a good first step, but I I don't take it. It, it gives you a ballpark. Ballpark. I yeah. guess I would rather get the sales figures from the official websites or shit like that. Well, again, just as a quick search, it gives you a decent ballpark. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, oh wait, there's something to look forward to on the Xbox One. Rare is going to bring back a historic franchise. Banjo on three. On a console that nobody wants to buy. I uh, no. Well, here, the, well no, let's see. No. Let's see. They don't. Let's see. They don't. They can't make any Star Fox or Donkey Kong games anymore because it's Nintendo. They don't own. They don't own. Uh, do they technically own? Yeah, technically they own Perfect Dark, but no one cares about that anymore. Especially with how prevalent first-person shooters are. All they have is Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie, uh, uh, maybe uh, Killer Instinct. But here's the problem: is is that Rare hasn't made a good game since before the GameCube came out. So I don't trust them with their own franchises anymore. I really hope that that rumor that they had about Nintendo br- buying back all of those that's, franchises that's is not going to happen. I, 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 let me dream, okay? Hey, then, <laughs> in that case, let me dream that they're actually going to make an F Zero game. Oh, I, I do let you dream. I dream that too. <laughs> the thing is, I, I want them to buy back Banjo Kazooie, uh, Perfect Dark, whatever. Throw those at like Retro or somebody, and have somebody competent make those games for once. What about Conquer? Conquer. <sighs> I don't. I can't say a whole lot about Conquer because I've never played it. What about the Mipsy game? <laughs> Remember, all those characters were supposed to have their own game from Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you want to play a game as Mipsy the Mouse or Timber no. the Tiger? As it's looking oh. right now, you know the conference and everything. I'm not getting this thing. No. Uh, it would I'm, take I'm, a hell of a lot for me to even it, consider. It, I, uh, it, yeah, that's what it is, and. I don't it know. Was... I, I I know I'm people. <laughs> people generally say that you should wait after E3, but it's getting. But I'm so pessimistic about this that I don't even think E3 is going to change my mind. No. Well, especially considering how well last year went for them. Maybe <laughs> you know. Maybe they're. Maybe they had the conference to fo- to put all the attention on the TV and sports shit there and then, and, and not E3. E3 because actually that was one of our complaints last year for Microsoft E3 was that they focused so much on all this um, the, this, the shit that they had to stuff. With games. Yeah, you know, like uh, the Usher dancing and shit like that. The Cirque you know, well, here, here's shit. the thing: Xbox, Microsoft slash Xbox have no exclusives. Oh, you're gonna show Call of Duty? Who cares? Another system's gonna get that. You know, what's your exclusive Halo 5? La-di-da. Well, Bungie doesn't even work for Halo. It's not yeah. even a first-party developer for Halo, for Halo it's not for even, Microsoft yeah, it's anymore. Not, it's not Bungie anymore. No, it's well, still exclusive to Microsoft, but... Well, okay, Microsoft still owns the Halo franchise. Yes. Well, what, can, you, can you guys name any more exclusives that's not Gears Halo? Of, Gears, Gears of War. Nope. Yeah, no. Oh, Blink's a time sweeper. <laughs> Ryan, let it go. Viva Vignata? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> that's the problem with Microsoft is that they, they've all of their stuff has been like third party multi platform stuff, but it's just people have always played it on Xbox as opposed to PS3 because the online's just been better. You know? It's that's there's just no, sort of there's how. There's nothing it, that's going to stop them from playing the game just fine on the PS4. Yes. It's just like uh, Microsoft had that a head start with the uh, last generation, and that's why they did so well compared to PlayStation, but this time they don't have an advantage and I don't I don't see them doing I don't see them going anywhere. I don't see them going anywhere but I, backwards at this rate. I don't want to say that like it's a good thing because it's not. If if Microsoft goes under, that's bad for everybody, no matter if what. Microsoft's uh, not going to go under if they fuck up the console market. They're just going to lose the console market. Well, that, that, you know what I mean. If their console division goes under, that's bad for everybody. Microsoft really? as a comp, yeah, it, it it is for everybody because like, okay, assume that uh, assume that the Microsoft uh, division uh, console division just dies. Okay, so all that. Dreamcast to... 2, everybody. <laughs> yeah. All of the developers that made the hardware are going to get fired. All the people, a lot of the people who made the software for the games are going to get fired. Uh, the industry stock totals are just going to take a massive dip, and ev- everything's just going to get worse. You don't think 
well, hold on. You don't think that, let's say, like, if theoretically Microsoft does go under in the console business, you think everybody in the industry everybody would get else... fired and not get relocated? Uh, I no. Well, yeah, basically, getting a job in a game in a game development industry is hard. You know? If if Microsoft goes under, that's bad for everyone. Microsoft, and no. Day one, Microsoft announces, oh, we're not going to make consoles anymore. The day afterwards, hey, guys, we're making the Dreamcast too. <laughs> and the fans rejoiced. Yay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna go and say that this is going to kill Microsoft, because that would be a really juvenile thing to say. So early on, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I, but I'm just, they're, the they're not giving me much hope. But it, I, out of all the console announcements that I've ever seen, or experienced, and this is, I'm talking about this, as early as... This is know, almost a bigger shot in the foot than the Saturn. You know, because the, we, we, we've all harped on all three companies back then, especially when the seventh generation was beginning, you know, when Sony had the 599 US, 599 US, and US dollars, 599 US dollars. You know, the, the 360 with its hardware failures, and the Wii because it wasn't as powerful as a 360 or PS3. But this, this announcement, this... Never before have I seen a console that I just like, no, get it away, kill it with fire. I don't want anything to do with it. And it, it pains me to say so early on when the console's not even out yet, but that conference drove me nuts. I didn't even watch it. I just, all I did was, well, after it was over, I checked my Twitter feed and I saw a whole lot of pain. It's just like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Uh, I, will still, I will still watch the E3 conference. Oh, I will too, just to see how they try to respond. Not just because we're doing a video after it, but because... I, I want to I see how badly they muck up the response. <laughs> I want to see what they're going to do. I'll do what I usually do and wait till it's over and let you guys give me the LDR. Oh, come on. Watch it live. Not unless uh, Kevin Butler's in it. And in that case, I can probably watch his, his uh, speech on YouTube later. I don't watch the news, not even everyone, game news. Everyone, well, at least the majority of the internet, hate this thing. This, I, this I haven't seen a single positive response to it yet. I've seen a few, but it's mostly just because of Xbox diehard fanboys. I didn't you know? think there were all that many of those. Well, they're mostly Halo fanboys, so yeah. Oh. You know, I haven't seen much positive reception to this conference. I want to see... What the fuck Microsoft's going to do in response to that? Hmm. Yeah, because I haven't seen a launch this negatively received since the Saturn. Well, people were negative about the Saturn even... Whenever. Well, that was because they didn't know it was out. <laughs> they Wait, announced like, it. The, the Saturn it, was sprung on everyone like as a surprise, practically with no warning at all. Yeah, the the um, they, they announced it at the E3 2096, was it? 95. I think. 95 or 96, and then they just came out and said, "Oh yeah, it's already in stores." And Wait, was really? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. And that's why it failed because <laughs> no one knew it was out. Well, I thought it was more of just because there was no games worth playing on it. No, there was no marketing for it whatsoever. If there is no just... marketing for a console, no one's going to develop for it early on. No one's going to – there aren't going to be any games for it when it comes out. And no it's one's not gonna going know to it's have out. any momentum to start, and that's going to make sure that no that no other developers go to find it. Make sure like, it's like, wow, if Sega, did, if Sega cares so less for that Saturn that they decide not to announce it until the day it's available in retailers, then why the hell should we give a fuck? Yeah. Yeah, this is... Xbox... Xbone is pretty much just as bad. <laughs> Ugh. Well, the only thing I can say at this point is, Nintendo, please fix your fucking Pro Controller. Get well, that, what's wrong with the Pro Controller? Get that right analog stick away from on top of the buttons. It yeah. drives me nuts. I was playing, um... The GameCube controller worked just fine. Put that analog stick below the buttons. I'm actually, I never, I usually avoid, like, uh, third-party controllers, you know, for consoles and all that. I'm seriously considering getting the Nyko Pro controller, <laughs> if only because the analog, it, it pretty much is 360 controller. But that's what I like. <laughs> I like the analog stick below the face buttons. That's another thing about the game about the game industry that I like. It's good to try new things, but there are things that don't need to change. The basic Dual layout. Four. Let's see. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
So, it, 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 the little it, needed to be fixing, they fixed. The basic layout works. Keep it. If there's something slightly uncomfortable about the shoulder buttons, fix the shoulder buttons. You know. I like the GameCube controller. Can we go back to that? It's, it's can, so comfy in my if, hands. If, if the shape is a bit uncomfortable, uh, make the shape a bit better. But keep the layout of the buttons the same. It, it's, it's not rocket science, people. Well, I think give Microsoft credit for one thing. Your comf- the controllers are really fucking comfortable. Yeah. But you know, we you know, uh, and the Wii U Pro controller. Is shaped almost like a fucking 360 controller, but the analog stick gets to the far right and up. I don't like that. Bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> Bring it down. <laughs> if Luigi commands you. <laughs> so yeah, Sony can win just by not fucking up. Nintendo has to show some things, but is in relatively safe style with what they say they're going to show. Microsoft is pretty much. Fucked. <laughs> trying to stay alive. My Microsoft is X bone. <laughs> okay, so uh, the way I put it is, is that um, the way the way I'm seeing it is, is that we've got like a racing uh, a, a racing competition here. Uh, Sega brought like a race car. Nintendo Nintendo brought like a, like a, a Hummer, and uh, Microsoft has a skateboard, and they're going the opposite direction. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're driving. They're, no, no, no. Here's what's here's, here's what's going on. <laughs> they're, they're, they're doing they're doing a Formula One race, you know, with all the twists and turns about it. Microsoft brought a dr- drag racer. Doesn't turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if we were to have, um, if each conference, and I know Nintendo's not, not having a conference, but if they were to two live, Nintendo Direct it, might as well it, be. It, it, it's well, yeah, an hour and a half yeah. Direct conference that. It, it, yeah. It's basically a conference without them uh, renting out a uh, concert hall. I'm just saying, like, as soon as um, each conference begins, obviously everyone has their own theme song. Sony has Everybody Wants to Rule the World. Nintendo is Live to Rise by Soundgarden. <laughs> and Xbox is Staying Alive by the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> ironically, alive, their, ironically but... their lead singer did not do a very good job of staying alive. <laughs> you can't get out by the way. It's my walk. <laughs> Alive is, they might stay alive, <laughs> possibly. No, they'll die just like Disco did. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Uh, well, well it's, it, at the very least, it'll be an interesting E3. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I think, I've never been more hum- hyped for an E3 since like 2007. <laughs> We're hyped for all the wrong reasons, though. Who is going to screw up more? So what? It's going to be a colossal bonfire. <laughs> it, it's like going to a political rally. It's true. There, you go there to watch the gaffes. <laughs> it's like everyone just go, everyone each conference just going gaff, 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 gaff. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, for the Microsoft conference, we ring out Joe Biden. <laughs> Joe, Jude, I was gonna say Joe Alone. Jude, Jude Alone can't get here fast enough, man. I was gonna see how much of a train wreck this could be. Uh, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I see. I want to see how bad it gets too for everyone. Yeah, I do too. I want to watch everything burn. So <laughs> he is absentee, and they still win. Well, that's that's basically what Nintendo's trying to do. They're trying to win without. Sh- <laughs> Which is possible if they play their cards right. Smash, 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 smash. Well, get to that one. We two weeks, Ryan. Right. Two weeks. No, I, wait, but okay, I want to see it now. Hold on. Make, the 11th is, no, a, is a... All Sony has to do is make a PS3 with better graphics, a faster disk drive, a larger, higher drive, and no mandatory install. It's the 11th is a Tuesday, I believe, Ted. Yeah, it's a, a little bit, two and a half weeks from the time of this recording. But I want to see it now. Patience, Almost. Ryan. Go play ball some more. <laughs> but I play for melee. <laughs> okay, and fine. My... 64. But I can only Falcon Punch spam so much in that game. Let's just add this now. Two weeks. <laughs> but I want to see it now. 